Hi, my name is Charles Convery, and I play Will the Shakes in the musical Quill and Ink by Ken Delacante. What attracted me to the script was the fact of how fast-paced it is. It didn't seem like there was a dull moment in the show. It's, you know, banter back and forth really quickly, and the fact that I get to play Will the Shakes as a 25-year-old and then towards the end of his life as a 52-year-old really appealed to me, too. Working with this cast has been great. Everyone is very enthusiastic. Uh, they all come from different backgrounds, you know, different beliefs, different religions, you know, uh, different performing styles. Um, originally, the cast was supposed to be 14 people, and we switched it so now two actors play two characters each, which I think makes it a lot more uh, simple to get everyone together for rehearsals. And I mean, there's just some really funny people in this class, uh, in this cast, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be able to keep a straight face during some of these scenes when we get to the live performances. So if I have my head down, that's the reason why. Uh, Ken Delacante is a great director. He also wrote Quill and Ink, which is fantastic to have the director also be the writer. So if you decide, hey, Ken, this line seems out of place, this line seem, seems weird, and I'll have you read it and I'll say, you know what, yeah, I was, you know, I was wrong when I wrote that line. Maybe we should tweak it. We'll do it like this. I say, great, Ken. Instead of, you know, uh, most writers really, oh, don't change a single word on, on, you know, from my script. And Ken is very open and very giving when it comes to that. Uh, he wants you to feel as natural as possible, you know, when you're playing one of these roles in the show. And that's what makes it a pleasure working with him. Book your tickets as soon as you can for Quill and Ink, the new musical comedy. It's going to be premiering March 9th at 5125 Melrose Avenue at the Pan Andreas Theater. And if you don't get your tickets, you're going to wake up in a bad mood. I'm John K. Wilson. I am playing dual parts. I'm playing the part of Rosencrantz and also the part of Iago, who is the bad guy. Uh, playing a dual role is a challenge. It's um, a, an exciting challenge. I welcome challenges and I enjoy them. Um, the problem with it is, and because they're both English speaking parts, is to distinguish the two. Sometimes you may, and I've done this before because I, I do murder mystery dinner shows and I'll die as one character, come on, and I'm another guy. And sometimes the accents collide and you're like, oops. <laughs> so you just make sure that they're completely separate because you find this, this thing and you like it and it works and you're in show mode and sometimes it, it, you forget to, to switch gears, to shift gears. And it's like, oh, I, you know, got to go and do the other thing again too. So that's, it is definitely a challenge. Um, like I said, though, I enjoy it very much, and it should be fun. Ken is a hoot. Ken, um, God, he's 70 years old, and he's, and he's fit, and he's agile, and he's, uh, he's a go-getter, and he loves his script. <laughs> I know that. He is very enthused, and that's good, and it spreads amongst the cast. He loves to tell stories, which is great. He uh, has a, a million stories from a lifetime of, of film and, and theater, and he loves to have an audience to hear him tell those stories. Hi, I'm Kim Shannon, and I am playing the role of Beatrice. Beatrice is having a little fling with Hamlet, and also Shylock, the moneylender. So, girlfriend gets around. Um, I won't say whether I'm inspired by my own life in that or not. I'll say no. I'll say no. I'm not like that. Um, but Beatrice is really passionate about justice and what she believes in, and that I really identify with, so it's what really drew me to the role. I love working with an ensemble. It's, you get to know all sorts of different people and all kinds of different personalities, and everybody kind of has their own unique thing that they bring to the table, and it's always a good experience. Hi, my name is Tim Lott, and I will be playing the role of Rodrigo. You know, in, in film and television, oftentimes uh, you rehearse on your own and then you're called in on set without uh, much rehearsal and um, as opposed to an ensemble cast where you get to know the personalities, you're working off of other people. And uh, I, I really relish the idea of rehearsal because I think in rehearsal you can refine you have an, uh, an opportunity to mull it over, so to speak, and to think about the role, to do your imagination work on the character and the circumstances. And, um, and every performance is different. Um, and when you're performing, you have one take. So your feet are held to the fire, 
as opposed to film where you have multiple takes. And um, so I think you, you really have to, uh, to be on your game in theater.